Life, it has a habit of getting in the way of different projects we might set out for ourselves or hope to finish. For one man, they were things like World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam, they all got in the way. Scott Broom introduces us to Jack Melton, a 100-year-old veteran receiving his college diploma nearly 60 years late. Hi, Mr. Melton. Hi. One, two, three. It's the graduation ceremony that John Jack Milton never got. Thank you for everything you have done in serving our country, giving back to your alma mater, and so generously supporting those learners who need us most. I hereby confer upon John L. Milton the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, I've had uh, many ceremonies throughout my life, fortunately, but this has to be the top. I didn't get to attend my own graduation ceremony. On that day, I was on my way to Southeast Asia for my own Vietnam tour. Today certainly makes up for that lost occasion. John Jack Milton, a pilot in World War II, then Korea and finally Vietnam. Married to a cover girl model named Samantha who he taught to sling a machine gun during a 1964 deployment in Kinshasa, Congo, they were risk takers. Much later on when I got to thinking about it, I became a little bit jittery <laughs> and a little nervous about the risks involved. Uh -huh. But uh, at the time, I didn't even notice it. Today, he ate graduation lunch with his adopted family. Nora Ubala started as a hired nurse 22 years ago and stayed after the death of Jack's wife. He's a father to me, and I call him father. My kids call him grandpa. Joyce Ubala is a student at Yorktown High School in Arlington. He loves to talk about his time, like, flying airplanes during the wars, and we love listening to him. And he loves music as well, like all of my music tastes has come from him. Like he loves Sinatra. You like that stuff too? Yeah. Well, this is quite a surprise. Yeah. John Jack Milton doesn't have any advice for living to be 100, but one thing that makes him feel good is giving away scholarship money to members of the military so they can get their degrees from the University of Maryland Global Campus while still serving, just like he did in 1966, with a graduation only 58 years late.